motherfucker, y'all know how this shit go. What's the deal, YouTube? It's Merch City Man here back with another fucking video. Today I'll be interviewing my guy, FM Cam. What's the deal with y'all? We this back is... at it for another one. Yes, sir. This will be his second interview. We did an interview back then in like, what, 2020? Yeah, that bitch is a while ago. 2020, 2020, uh, 2021, I think. 2020. Yeah. COVID. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's been a minute, man. Today we're here to uh, tap in with bro, see about, see what's going on with him. It's been a minute, man. I'm trying to see what's going on, what he got going in 2023. Man, shit you know, for real, bro. I don't know, but shit, same shit, same same shit, different year. Okay. Niggas been working, yeah. music. I got another tape coming. Uh, shit, still gifted, basically gifted too. Still gifted coming uh, this year before the year over with. Okay. More okay. videos dropping. Shit, really just been working, trying to lock in. I've been doing a lot of like, life shit too, but other than that, nigga trying to work, focus on working shit. Let's go. Let's. Okay, let's go back to your first project, Gifted first project, when you first dropped it. The first tape, Gifted? Yeah. Okay, uh, how, how was that one? How do you um, come about with that one? How I came about, what you mean, how I put that bitch together? Yeah, how you, you know what I mean, came up with the idea of Gifted. From the cover art down to the name, down to like every track of the song, or the uh, tape. That bitch started, I wasn't even gonna do a tape called Gifted at first. I had to do the song. The gifted song. We just shot a video for that bitch too. We did the one mic and the video for that. Oh yeah, the go bitch. check it out. The video ain't out yet, but the one mic out. We run that bitch up. Then the video gonna drop. But uh, but yeah, I had did the song gifted, and that bitch is hard. I had I had made a. Uh, I was gonna drop the single at first. Yeah. And uh, I had just did a photo shoot with my man. He got like a little photo booth and whatnot, like a, a little studio in his apartment and shit. Mm -hmm. Made the little photo shoot. And I would look at the pictures and I just made it. I made a cover art for the song Gifted out of one of the pictures and shit. But that song, that single, turned to a whole little mixtape. I'm like, man, fuck, I'm gonna put a together called Gifted. And then the tape was just the name, it just fit it. I mean, Gifted. Like, that shit speaks for itself. So it shit. sure does. Tape hard. That cover, cover art hard as hell, man. If you ain't go tap in with his first mixtape, that's not his first mixtape, but the first mixtape, Gifted. Before Gifted 2 come out, man, go tap in with that shit, bro, for real. A lot of fire tracks out. New visuals coming soon, man. We in 2023. Shit, we in the middle of the interview, bro, bro pouring up, man. Shit, you know how it is. Uh, but yeah, speaking on Gifted, though, um, uh, what's your favorite tracks from the uh, first take? From that first take? Other than, see, my favorite track from that bitch, Gifted. Yeah, that's what I'm about to say. <laughs> other than like probably Gifted. Uh, no cap. I say Gifted. I can't lie. I got a, I got a handful of favorite tracks from that bitch, Gifted. It's like the first, first couple tracks are my favorite, Gifted, Lazarus. And then I got uh, see, Model. As far as my solo tracks, Gifted, Lazarus, Model. Yeah. Uh, Really, that's it for her. Them, 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 the, them the ones I fuck with the most on them bitches. I that fuck bit. with Lazarus, Gifted. Um, One of my favorite tracks is uh, My Thoughts, for real. Oh, yeah. My, I can't really consider that shit. my single song that I got bro on there. I, I know. Feature. That shit, like, that shit hit different because I was down there in Cali. Like, the background of the story of My Thoughts, check it out if you haven't go listen to it. We was actually in Cali when he recorded the song, so. When he recorded that shit, I was down there with him, man. That shit hit, for real. That shit hit different. It's a whole story to that song too, so go check it out. Yeah, uh, I did my thoughts in Cali, my fault, I'm just, I'm just, Oh, no, you're good, good, man, you good. Yeah, my good. thoughts was in Cali, recorded that bitch in Cali. I threw my nigga Ron on there, free Ron, shit. He called me when I was in Cali. I told him I'm, I'm in the studio, and he like, shit, let me put his verse down. And that's how that had what went about, doing the beginning of the song. But, I also fuck with uh, his song, me and my niggas on that bitch, it's called um, Something Brazy. It's me, nigga F.O.M. Kari, my nigga Big KJ, shit, Cash, 
Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, all four folds on that bitch. That's something crazy for real, for real. Now, that, nah, that bitch supposed to be a solo song. My verse is long as hell on that bitch, but I'm like, let me throw my niggas on that bitch, and I threw them on. It's funny you say that's supposed to be a, a solo song. How did that come about, like, all of them getting on the song, on the track with you, like? See, we was, in the, we was in the studio. In the studio, uh, shit, working on some, I was in the studio, and they was with me. And I was, I, when I recorded that bitch, they had wanted to hop on that bitch. So I'm like, shit, fuck it, hop on that bitch. Yeah. Cause the, the shit was hard for me, so yeah. yeah. And I was running that bitch too for a little minute. So I'm like, shit, I'm okay. gonna throw a nigga on that bitch. What um, so what studio were you at? Like, who was who produced the love track for you? I ain't gonna lie, my favorite studio, the one I fuck with, I go to Midwest Recording Studios, Midwest Mixing Studios, however you want to call it, Midwest Studios in Michigan. You heard of Midwest Studios? Look them up on uh, I think it's called Midwest Mixing House. I think we can change the name to that. I'm not sure. But or you could just look up my nigga ATM Crown. Shout out to bro. I started uh, at his studio. I'm probably gonna always go to his studio. His his sound there, quality there, the mixing the master, the speed. He he a mix and master as you as you working this shit. Now that's what I like. Yeah, yeah. I like Shout out to ATM Crown. Like if a producer see an engineer or producer see this uh interview and they wonder like how can I work with this nigga what he like when he in the studio. Uh -huh. Nigga. Shit, I like I like if you on crown type of timing. I'm gonna work with you type of shit. Cause that nigga be he be he be on it. So while you rapping, you can be you can be doing your second verse. And you, and you recording your second verse, he on the computer, mixing and mastering and cutting the first verse and shit. So he already on, be on it while you recording like that shit. He be like that. So you can never his work ethic is on point for real. Hell yeah. Shout out to ATM Crown man. Go tap in with that guy yeah. for real. Shout out my nigga Crown. Started shooting videos in his studio too. And one of my first videos was in his studio. Was it? Yeah, Fame. Fame was in his studio. We shot that bitch in his studio. I forgot all about that song too. We rapping for a minute, feel like. Yeah, Fame, we shot that. Like, what, what year is that? 2018. Or 20, yeah, 2018, I think. That was going to show how many years we've been in this bitch though. We've yeah, been working man. for a minute. What kind of happened was over time we kind of slowed down when the pandemic, right when the pandemic kind of settled in, because we, we weren't unsure like what was going on with the world, with the country, and uh, we had to take, we had to like pay close attention to our loved ones, you know, our close ones. So we had to like take a break from social media, and everything, you know, and just focus on ourselves, focus on our, our mental health, our well-being. So, but now that. Everything is starting to pick back up. Detroit starting to turn up, transition more into the music industry, mainstream. It's, it's getting turned, man. The city getting Shit. turned. And the mainstream is Detroit, bro. You don't notice, nigga, everybody's still in our, they've been still in our sound and shit, but not. It's clear as day that they still in our sound. What's like, the one guy, that one guy, S-O-B-R-B-E? Yeah, them niggas, that started Cali, but that Cali, don't know, that nigga said Cali and Detroit, they like cousins and brothers and whatnot. Like, they are, the sound always been yeah. similar and shit. It's somewhere. always been love out there, too. Mm -hmm. Of course. But that's probably where it started, that nigga saying Cali took our sound, but then, yeah. But shit, for real, for real, I don't know too much history on that, but. The old energy taking our sound, bro. It's like, <coughs> Lotto, I, I ain't even trying to talk shit about her I'm this glad you me, that up. Cause I, I fuck with her, I fuck a lot of her. She, she can rap, she yeah. can rap, she can rap for real. Oh yeah, she sound good too. <coughs> but, <coughs> that put, that put it on the flow. <coughs> and if, and nigga poo, poo you a fool. That nigga, he from this city and shit. So, I think it kind of makes sense. She, he got a, she got a city producer. So of course she gonna have a city beat, but that, that bitch sound like a Detroit song. Like that sound like if a Detroit bitch was out there to make a song. Like let me not say that, but say that sound like some shit that Pretty Bray, uh, Pretty Bray or uh, some some yeah. some bitch to do from the city. That be, that be rapping. Yeah, that's that's some, some city shit. That that beat, the sound, all yeah, that shit. Yeah. So yeah. you see how big that song is right now. So that just goes to show the, the oh, yeah. influence that Detroit got. And shit, look in the industry, bro. You see. You ain't Detroit. going to no party without hearing that. Yeah, and nowadays you ain't going to no party without hearing no Detroit song. Cause Detroit low key running shit in the industry. You got T, you got motherfucking. As far as now, you got Baby Money, Skiller, oh, yeah. Tay B, 
Shit. Yeah. T, you got all these niggas that's in the city that's popping hard right now. Yeah. Baby face, right? Yeah, Ray, shit. Yeah. Bees. Them niggas influence is crazy. Peasy. Mm -hmm. Like, them niggas, them names, a couple years ago, them na niggas probably ain't even know them names. Like, in other states and shit, across, like, down the way. But now nah, the whole world know them names, and that shit crazy. A few states been knowing, knowing names, knowing us. Not us, but like knowing like certain names, certain people, certain rappers in the city, but a lot of people starting to just getting hit to us. Like it's really starting to like take off and we starting to see it. Hell yeah. The thing about us, about you, that's what I wanna get back to. Like I wanna uh touch on like what's your plan? How how are you trying to like become part of this, part of like the Detroit rap scene? Detroit music. Other right. than like, um, so far, yeah, so far you've been dropping music, dropping tapes and shit. So, right, have you, this, as far as this year, what have you been doing so far in 2023? I've been trying to get back in my bag 2023. Shit, really, I've been, I've been working, I've been working more behind the scenes than rather than in front of the camera type shit, something like that. I've been trying to perfect my crowd and get my marketing plan, strategy, all the other shit that go along with it. Cause, is it, cause me being in this shit for almost, I got rapping for real for like 2017, 2018. It's 2023 now, so me being in this shit for that many years, bro, you gotta, it, it, and not really elevating, for, like, elevating, but not really going nowhere for real. You gotta see like, it, 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 it take, that, that shit make you sit back and think and look at it what's going on and look at what you need to do, what you're doing wrong type shit. So it's like the make, marketing perspective. Yeah, 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 it make you actually sit back and plot and plan, figure figure some shit out before you dive into that shit completely, feel me? Like, so yeah. that's what I've been doing. I've been trying to get back on my shit and uh, motherfucking get this marketing strategy to get my strategy to plan, plan some shit out rather than just jumping in this shit like a chicken with his head cut off and shit. I'd rather know what I'm doing and go straight do that shit, feel me? Right. Like, like, yeah, you feel me? But, I've been working though, shit. I got, like I said, I got tapes coming, but I got tapes coming, videos coming. I'm sitting on about like, I'm sitting on like five videos right now, and I just ain't dropping shit. Speaking of shows, man, we 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 didn't hit a few events this year so far. Yeah, we hit a couple of events, not as many as I used to go to. But that's all because I've been shit, working behind the scenes. I've shit, but yeah, that's that's also another fact. Talk about too. that. Yeah, talk about how like the certain events we go to, certain shows you perform at. Uh, like your experience with that so far. Let me I be doing little showcases. Then I linked up with a couple of promoters and shit. My nigga Strictly Biz, uh, Inno, shit. He a promoter I know. My nigga J three one Drake, J three one three and shit. Uh, I just did a little event with J three one three. Uh, like a couple weeks ago at Big Daddy Games over in East Point and shit. That shit was cool. This is a little showcase. I just go to different showcases and shit. Also, my nigga Tez Hancho too. He, uh, Tez Hancho and, uh, I can't even forget. Let me not forget them niggas, bro. From Dudes of Detroit. My nigga Teflon Crown, all them niggas down that way too. Cause, okay, yeah, shout out to them boys. Them niggas, yeah, I, I be doing, I, they hit me up with a performance in there now and then too. Like Tez, he just, uh, hit me the other day by the, uh, showcase he hosting. I'm definitely gonna try to get to that bitch. So it's a couple of y'all might not know the names or not, but y'all going to them. If I don't know the names, look them up. If I do know the names, kudos to you, shit. But yeah, so I've been keeping in contact with a couple of little promoters and showcases, uh, showcases going on. But other than that, talk about promote, speaking of promoters and promotion, nigga, I'm trying to, I might be actually start promoting on mainstream vlogs and pages and shit because that's one thing I never did for it for it. I never went ahead and promoted myself on like say cheese or Detroit rap news or some or some fucking some shit like that college kid or anything no jumper or something like that who I mean, yeah shit they niggas be wanting like five three hundred to five hundred but that shit worth it you gotta think about it in the end that three hundred five hundred gonna bring you views it's gonna bring you it may bring you more followers it was made, it's definitely gonna bring you some uh, a handful of motherfuckers to actually take a listen and hear what you rapping about, hear what you saying, and might tune in to some of your other shit too. So you gotta think about that shit. Yeah. It's an investment. Anytime you gonna put money or 
anything, anytime it's an opportunity in front of your face to that may elevate you as an artist or it may how you might get get some profit for it, some gain from it, even if it ain't money, if you can get some type of gain from it, then shit. Don't be scared to take that risk and invest in yourself. That's even investing in yourself. Like, I bet it all on myself, so I bet it on another motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. It's part of believing in yourself. For real. It's a foundation within yourself, man. You gotta have to follow through whatever purpose you have for yourself. It's, it's real. Speaking on Gifted too, man, what's your plan for that? My plan for that? I'm gonna roll out the videos first. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I already started my plan for Gifted 2 I'm, and I'm starting that with Gifted, the song from Gifted, the last yeah. previous tape. Now my plan starting with that is drop the one mic, boom. The one mic is Gifted, it's two songs in one. It's Gifted and it's also Lunatic. Lunatic is, it's, uh, I believe, third or second song on Still Gifted, which is my set of Gifted 2. But, uh, so I'm promoting two and one on that one. And once that, once I feel like that I'm ready, I'm gonna drop the gifted video. Then I'll go ahead and drop Lunatic, the actual full music video. And then I'll probably, after Lunatic, uh, out for a little while to get his little buzz going, I drop, uh, I ain't gonna say the name of the first song, but I dropped the first video from Still Gifted. I dropped the, the very first track, the video for that bitch, boom. And that's how I'm gonna roll it off from there. That, and once that video drop, start promoting everything, and shit. But once I'll probably wait. I ain't gonna put no time frame right now because I ain't even there yet, so I can't even put no time frame on this shit when I'm not there. I might even gonna do that shit, but yeah, I just know once I once that I once I drop that first video to that tape and that shit start rolling out, getting a little buzz and shit, that's gonna determine how well that shit go, that's gonna determine when I drop the full still gifted. Okay, okay, okay. okay. And I kind of regret I just said that shit. So like, process, but niggas be saying, never, uh, don't wait on the perfect time to put that shit out there. But I already been just putting that shit out yeah, there. Yeah. Me, that's why I, I gotta see what that shit doing first. See, then drop that bit. Let's reflect on last summer, 2022. Like, what happened last summer? Like, um, I know we had, uh, we found a few, uh, a few, few fans, a few shots. Yeah, last summer, that's crazy, but I can't even remember the last summer. I remember we shot a lot, of, we shot some videos. Some of the videos I got is from last summer. Yeah. But, uh, that's it, I, I was in the studio, I got hella songs. Not even solo songs, I got hella songs from bro, my nigga, uh, my nigga Millie Kid. He just don't be in the rapping bag for real, for real. I gotta get him, I gotta get him in his bag. But that's what I was doing, I can't lie. I was in the studio, that nigga a lot. He, 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 the reason I was in the studio, he hit me up, like, bro, I hit the studio, hit the studio, I'm like, shit, for sure. And then now, I probably ain't had no plans to hit the studio. Yeah, yeah shout out to bro. Sure, for sure. Gotta get in the studio, stay working. That's what niggas need. Niggas need people around them, keep them motivated and shit. Like, especially they see you not really, there's some shit that you doing that you, that you been doing, but you not really taking it serious or you acting like the days you with it and shit. You need niggas like that around who Bro, come on, give me, let's go and do that shit. Yeah, I got that's gonna keep you on your shit. Yeah, keep you on your toes. It's what you're saying. <clears throat> they say, iron sharpen iron. Iron sharpen iron. Okay. But yeah. So, so far you say you've been having a lot going on this year. You've been going to shows. You've been shooting videos. Been working on your next tape. So, other than that, what else do you have in store for yourself for your brand going forward? See, I'm, I'm about to get more into the business side of things. For real, for real. I ain't smack that much. I ain't gonna lie. So I can smack that bitch. This is shit. They probably never seen this before on camera. Never on camera have y'all seen a nigga smack his head this, this small. I ain't, I'm scared to do it on camera. Hey, like, boy, what is you doing? You know what we call those? We call those roaches. But, uh, shit. Hell yeah. What you asking me, bro? 
Hold on, hold on one second. Man, shout out to Cali, man. We high as hell over here, man. Shout out to the Bay, man. I know y'all over there smoking good, Yo, man. Yo, Cali, I already know the fuck you asked me. But no, I was saying, uh, following back up, I was saying, so yeah, what do you have in store for like, um, your, like your brand, your name? Oh, you did say, I about to say that's not what you asked me, bro. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, shit, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm about to get into the business side of things, for real, for real. Uh, I, been, I had my LLC for a little minute. Shit, now I'm about to uh, actually get active with that bitch and, you know, feel me and do the right things. I know I, I, I've, I've been learning, I've been learning, I've been learning about the business side of things and with yeah. a lot of shit. So I know how to go about the right way. But, uh, Fun fact, was, man, I went to school for, uh, my minor was actually business. Uh, it was a business. Enterprise, I think, or something like that. Um, entrepreneurship, shit. But I wanted to like learn more about the marketing part, marketing aspect too, and uh, um, management. Yo, yeah, yeah. But, that's oh, yeah. it. Yeah, I'm about to uh, start rolling out with clothes. I need the clothes to start coming out. I'm gonna have a T-shirt. Start off some. Feel me? I ain't gonna. I ain't trying to be like everybody else, but I'm about to start off with the T-shirts. Then it might come. You know, fall time about to come, it might come hoodies and fit and sweats, jogging suits for the feminine, unisex or feminine, female, land, male, jogging suits type shit. Yeah, damn shit, all type of shit. Uh, FOM uh, beanies, that bitch would be hard, a skull yeah, cup or some shit, or sure. FOM beanies shit. I ain't gonna spill all my little ideas and shit out there, cause then yeah, niggas, yeah, I'm, yeah. I might say some shit niggas ain't think of, yeah, yeah, then I'm like, oh, I, I'm gonna do that shit, I heard that in the interview. <laughs> you know, we trying to copycat, man. Can't steal the sauce. Hell no. Nah. Nah, yeah, it sounds like you got some shit going on, bro, for real. Like, but, um, as far as the studio, you, you say you've been in the studio, though, still working? Hell yeah, I've been in the studio still. Shit, I got, shit, I shot a song right now. I ain't gonna, I um, don't know, it's ain't one of them. Why you bullshitting? Say a little freestyle real quick, man. Let me put a beat on. Nah, this bullshit. This shit about <laughs> We should have beat her on our freestyle. She know I'm focused on the money and she focused on it too. Told her, baby, I'll be a honey, I put the money over you. She look at me and laugh, you put the money over who? Boy, you must not know I put the money over you. Married to the money, said our bosses said I do. You can't even help yourself, it ain't shit that I can do. Could do 500 on the belt, or could spend it on some shoes. Really could do them both, it's depending on my mood. Why you trying to stay afloat? I'm somewhere booking me a cruise. I be talking money, getting money what I do. Stuck a with no bitch, getting money with my boo. Just met two bands today, getting money with the moves. I want 50 to your name, I just spent that on some food. I don't even fuck a drink, but I 50 on the juice. When I get to talking numbers, niggas looking so confused. Rather lose my main bitch. Losing money ain't the move, nigga. Losing money ain't the move. I'd rather lose my main bitch. Losing money ain't the move. 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 Losing money ain't the school. Losing money ain't the move. Losing money ain't the school. Losing money ain't the move. Losing money ain't the move. Losing money ain't the move. Losing money ain't I like, I, I like that, I like that. That shit was nice. That shit was nice. Mm-hmm. Hey, there you hear it is, man. I can't feel freestyle. This shit on the way. <laughs> Shout out to the city, man. We turned the hip. We so fucking turned right now. There's so much shit popping off. Hey man, all I can say is, man, run that dog shit up. Be safe out here for real. Yeah, we, we, we in it like this, man? No, we in the shit. Oh, that's all we trying to end this bitch. No, I'm just talking to him right now. No, hell no. I forgot what I was gonna ask you. Okay, so we talked about gifting, we talked about gifting too. We mm-hmm. talked about. in the studio, shooting some videos, last summer too, uh, back in 2022. Yeah. What's up about some real life shit, man? Mm-hmm. We talked about the business aspect of things, what else we have for your brand, your know name. I mean? uh, as far as like uh, being an artist and like living still, like having to like live a regular life. I wouldn't say a regular life, but like, you know, 
Yeah, like normal yeah. life, basically. I mean, I, I feel like that's anybody. Up how do you separate? How do you separate from like getting into that that mode of like being who you are as far as like an artist, a rapper, and back from like just having to like move in the city, man, as a regular person. Shit, I feel like. I don't even gotta separate it. Not, not really gotta separate it because at all times, I'm still F1 cam. Right. I'm still F1 cam. That's I'm always gonna F1 cam But as far as like me feeling like I can not separate, but I mean like more of how do you like balance it? I mean that shit easy because I ain't. I'm not on no high high skill. Yeah. I feel like if I was, I feel like that's what any up up coming artist is. Oh, I'm honestly, I can't say I can speak for everybody, but I feel like it's easy right now because I'm not at such a high level. If I was at a higher, if I was at such a high level where I had so much shit going on, like in the music, on the music side of things, yeah. it might be hard. But then at that point, I wouldn't even have no regular life. Because then I'm such a, at a high level, I'm just a full time artist. I'm, I'm a, but yeah, feel me? Yeah. But right now, it's like, uh, shit, I, I, I incorporate my regular life into my music, and then I always, that's where the story, that's where the drums come from, feel me? I incorporate my regular life into the music, and shit, my regular so life like, is the music, really shit. So from like 2022 or 2023, from like the pandemic, man, everything changing, man, social movements forming, like, uh, how do you find ways to like balance out you being a like rapper, you create, you you know what I mean, doing what you're doing. You just dealing with your everyday going life, basically. You know what I mean? How do you like balance? Stay. How you like stay in that mode, man? What's up? How you doing? You alright? Young black people day? Huh? This young black people day. <laughs> All right. D U M. Huh? I said bum. Yeah. Your shirt. Huh? Your shirt. You a bum? I'm a born a bum. Huh? Worked hard to be one when I was young. Well, uh, you just asked me that shit, B. You just uh -huh. asked me the same question. You just worded it different. No, I'm trying okay. to. Trying to think. I'm trying to ask how do I balance out being a, my, my, my work life and, and rap. Basically, no, basically, I'm trying to ask you, like, how do you, like... Or everyday problems and shit. How do you, like, uh... Stay in that, like, creative mode, man. When everything got done. Oh, that's like, that's easy. That's just me, I don't know. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a goofy motherfucker, bro. You see how I'm smoking? <laughs> no cap. <care. laughs> I you ain't goofy, right bro, now. but you, you nah, like, you me, silly, bro. bro I, yeah, I'm, I'm a silly yeah. motherfucker, but I ain't silly. Mm -hmm. Hey, yeah, I, 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 I got a good memory, too, so I remember a lot of shit, and also I know a lot of shit, too. I, I, I know a lot of shit. I'm, I'm smart, and I'm silly as hell, so I know a lot of shit. I, I remember, I remember a lot of shit and shit. I, I do a lot of different, do, a lot, a lot of different shit, you know I mean? I just got, it's hard, it's easy to stay creative with this shit. I be, uh, just sitting there thinking this shit all day, like, my intrusive thoughts is crazy. The niggas to hear my thoughts like it's me sitting down and I'm cooling and shit. Like, what's wrong with this nigga? Like, maybe <laughs> but it's, it's, it's cooking the nigga. Yeah, 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 it's, it's, it's easy to come up with shit, bro, because like I'm just creative, bro. I, it's that shit. Even if I'm got even if I got a lot of shit going on, I I be creative with that shit. Feel me? Like I got a lot of shit going on. That's something else to write about. Feel me? That's another song. That's another feel me? another topic. Other than like recording, uh, focus on music, focus on like working, like regular job or whatever you got going on as far as you know, or, uh, yeah. How do you, uh, like, what do you, like, what's, what's your like day to day like things you do? Like, do you like jog? Do you go for walks? Do you like work out, go to the gym? Do you read? Man, what do you do? I go to work, bro. I, uh, I get up, I go to work, come home, yeah, come home, 
to the shower, I might have a band, I might have a board on, I might, I might, it'd be so often I might listen to a beat or something, but it just, I gotta, it's, I mean, I, it's, there's certain days or certain times when I, when I get into them, and I try to listen to beats and some shit, write in and shit, or type of shit. But shit, I go to work, I be on my phone, trying to do a little shit, even when I'm on Instagram, I'm trying to shit some, uh, make a post, trying to promote it or not. I might be just be on my phone for most time. Go to work, cause if I can't lie, the money, the phone, that's where money is real for. And this generation, this money on the phone, the money to be made and shit. But, uh, yeah, shit. I uh, I don't really read much, but I, 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 I listen to books and shit though. But I don't really, I haven't really listened to a book in a while, dude. like not a while. Let me not say that, like a couple months, like three months or so. But I be, I got, I got a couple books on my phone. Actually, I got like three. I think two or three books I got. Mm. But shit, then, I be out the way for real, for real. I be trying to stay ducked off. I hit the studio, my man and shit. Or shit, I might just, if I got shit going on, like you said, I try to just, just stay ducked off. Try to make some tape. Try to find a way to make some tape, make some tape. Mm. And keep my head down, stay down, for me, stay down until I get back right, shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Have any questions for me? I think I'm all out. Mm, I think I'm all out. I don't know, bro. Shit. You, uh. You heard, I don't know. Let's talk about some other shit. You heard about the aliens? How you feel about this? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, you ain't know what I'm talking about. I don't know, bro. That's, I heard about some shit with babies, though. No, I'm talking about that. I'm talking about this shit recent. They had like a, uh, I guess they had a, uh, Court date, a court hearing and shit for uh, it was a trial for the fucking um, the, I guess against the, the, the government or some shit versus basically the, the government had to release all the information they knew about aliens. Somebody and a nigga went to the stand. We told him like we did. They asked the questions. It's a court. It's a fucking whole court trial and shit. Yeah, I ain't hear about yeah, this shit. And a nigga told him like, yeah, they, the government got is in possession of nine human bodies. They said it's been you. It's been shit. I, UFOs that crash and the, uh, the pilots are were non-human, like non-human, a non-human origin. Yeah, yeah. But look, though, where you hear it from? Nigga, that means all over. I'm from like Fox Two. Nigga, yeah, it's on the news, nigga. My people, CNN, see, my fucking all that shit. This nigga still went to work, though. I know he got up, smart him a little joint, but this nigga got up for work, man. That nigga ain't seen shit. I ain't seen whole people. Like, Man, I don't be knowing what the fuck be going on. Cause I don't watch the news. All I know is I be on my little shit, focus on my little craft, get content out, you know, for you, for other people too, for people who watching you doing us right now. Um, that's all I be knowing. So. Times we in, this time we just man, focus on you, man. Focus on bettering yourself, helping other people, staying positive. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, I'm, um, I'm looking forward to doing another interview soon. Can you miss me? Yeah, it seems like we're going to, uh, it seems like there's going to be a lot going on. He does the on this year. Definitely get more energy than yeah. 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 yeah, man. Man, shout out to the Bay again, man. Hey, we in the city. You know the Detroit. You know the city. We got the fire ass in the weed. Yeah, hey, I know y'all down here smoking some shit too. But no, yeah, uh, 
Go check it out, man. That's what Cam gifted. One mic. Hell yeah. That's what when Cam gifted. Shit, this video coming soon. A lot of other shit coming soon. Still gifted coming soon. Follow me on Instagram, FOM underscore Cam. Shit, follow me. What else I got? Find me on YouTube, FOM Cam, Apple Music, Spotify, all that. Shit, I'm on TikTok too, FOM Cam. I'll be on that bitch rapping and cooking and shit, nigga. I'm, nigga, I'm probably the best chef, rap, best rapping chef or some shit there is out there, huh? Hey, nigga, no cat. Hey, <laughs> he, hey. He be holding that shit but, too, but too. No, yeah, oh, shit. Follow me on all that shit, though. Shit. But stream my music, stream my shit, more shit to come. Follow me on Instagram as well, man. Marty City Man Production. That's my business page, man. Follow me on there as well, man. Follow me on uh, my main page as well, too. MartyCityMan.BTT. That's my main page, man. Stay tuned, man. New visuals on the way. Go tap into the Late Night Podcast with the Marty City Man. New episodes on the way, man. We in the new month. August 2023, so many, so much more content on the way, man. It's so much I can't even smush how how much how much shit going on right now, man. I tell you what though, I'm not hitting no fucking breaks. We turning this shit up all fucking year. You hear me? New fucking music on the way, man. New artists on the way, man. Stay tuned, bro. For real. Subscribe if you haven't. Yeah, subscribe to both channels.